hi guys welcome back to my channel so in this video I'm going to be practicing doing some more hairstyles in this one I'm going to be drawing five really cute girly hairstyles and I'm also thinking of doing another video where I go through some cool guy hairstyles as well so let me know if you fancy seeing that one and so I'm just starting off with the hair to the side I'm just starting by sketching it in then I'll ink and color it as well and just do some very simple coloring just block it in one shade and then I'm going to go in with a white chalk pastel pencil and a darker version of the colour that I'm using to colour the hair just to add the shadows and highlights but I really enjoy doing this style of hair I really like taking a break from realism and just focusing on doing some really stylized hair and I really like to do the hair quite full and give it lots of waves. I really like to have a lot of motion in the hair and as you might have noticed I like to do the hair really full, lots of blocks of hair and I just think this is a really creative way of drawing hair. You don't have to be really really specific about it, you can just be so much more creative with this style and I think it's just a really nice break. I really recommend practicing some different types of styles and really experiment with things because I'd never have thought that I would really really like doing this style but I don't know why I just happened to try it one day and I actually really enjoy doing the inking process. I've not done much inking in the past it's something that I'm very new to still and I find it's something that I'm really trying to improve at because I find doing the lines quite difficult to make sure that you get them really fluid and smooth and not kind of jagged at certain parts so that's something that I really want to start learning and getting better at. But I was so surprised when I actually enjoyed inking as much as I did. So I think that's just even more evidence that you should always still be experimenting and trying new things because you might think that something won't be for you, but until you try it, you don't really know. Something might completely take you by surprise and you actually really enjoy it. So for these hairstyles, I'm using pastel colours. I really like using really pale pastel colours like the light purple, pinks, blues, greens and like oranges, basically any colour but just more of a pastel version of it. So as you can see, once I did the inking, I rubbed out that pencil sketch so it's completely erased so you just have the inked outlines and then I just blocked it in with a basic marker colour. And then to add the highlights, I used one of my new art supplies that I bought and I showed you guys in my art supply haul and it was that Conte chalk white pastel and I don't know if I like it to be honest. I don't know if it's because this paper is printer paper so it's a different sort of hue, it's not as sort of creamy, it's more like bluey white so it seemed like the white charcoal pastel was quite creamy grey compared to the paper so it didn't really show up as white and I don't know if that's because of the paper that I'm using but for the second hairstyle I'm doing more of an updo and I wanted to include more of a fringe as well because I haven't really included a fringe in the last one that I did and also in the previous video where I did more hairstyles I didn't really include a fringe so I just thought I would practice doing that as well and I'm actually using my new Faber-Castell mechanical pencil to do the sketching and and I forgot how much I love using mechanical pencils. They're just so much more accurate and I love that I don't have to sharpen them. They are absolutely amazing and I can't wait to use them for all of my sketches and also for my graphite work. I think they're going to be great at getting those intricate little details. So I'm just going throughout these hairstyles with the exact same process and I hope this gives you guys more of an idea about the process that I eat do for each of the hairstyles so you can see the similarities in the process so there are things that I do in common no matter what hairstyle I'm doing I will do the same sort of process I'll just do the sketch I'll blocking the loose locks of hair you can see that the sketching process it is quite messy there's not lots of really neat sketching with locks of hair there is quite a lot of different kind of pencil strokes and then I just clean it up with the inking lines. I don't ink in every line that I've sketched but I kind of know in my head which lines are more the final lines, which ones I need to ink and that just comes with practice but if you want to have your sketches more clean, not so much going on, then you can do that, that's up to you. And one thing to mention is that I do erase a lot when I do these sketches, I don't get it perfect each time. And I think that's really important that you guys know that it's okay to erase stuff, it's okay to tweak stuff and change stuff and just keep adjusting it until you get it how you like it. Because the more you change things and the more you are picky and really change it until you are happy with it, the more you're going to be happy with the overall result because you're not just thinking 
yeah, that will do. I'll just leave it like that. I'll go in and ink it now because you're kind of rushing and getting impatient. You really need to spend that time in the sketching process to really make it something that you're really happy with so that you're like, yep, that's brilliant. I'm happy with that. And then you can go and ink, ink it in. Don't ink it if you're unsure about something because once you've inked that line, you can't change it. There's no going back. So it's really important to make sure that you're really happy with the sketch and you're really confident with it before you go in and ink it. So for the third hairstyle, I wanted to mix it up a bit by not doing it as a straight on view. I wanted her head to the side a bit more. So I worked on making sure that the kind of position of the head and the ear was a bit more accurate. And then I wanted to do this kind of shorter hairstyle, more of like a wavy bob. And I wanted it to have a bit more motion in it. And I really like this one. I think this is my favorite of all five of the hairstyles. I really, really like it. And I really like the color that I use for it. I'm not normally a very big fan of using like orangey colors but I really liked how this one went with the hairstyle I thought it was really cute and it just complemented the hairstyle really nicely I'd love to know what is your favorite one guys so write down in the comment section which of these hairstyles is your favorite which color do you most like and which sort of hairstyle do you like and is there any other hairstyles you'd like to see me do in the future like I said I am thinking of doing one for guys hair because I don't really do a lot of men's hair but I know you guys would like to see it because a lot of you have asked me for it so that is something that I need to practice more as well I need to practice doing men's hairstyles it's not something that I've practiced that much but I want to get back into it so that I can do more kind of pieces with men and women together in them not just girls all the time so moving on to the fourth hairstyle and again this is from a slightly different angle as well to keep it a bit more interesting and so this has a fringe again a bit more of a choppy fringe a different sort of style it's not so sort of sleek and wavy it's got more choppy edges and I did it so there was a bit of the hair up as well so you can see how I do the hair if I wanted a bit down and a bit up as well. So this hairstyle was based on a character from a game I really liked the hairstyle so I just decided to use Use that as the inspiration for this one and again exact same process when I'm inking in as you can see I'm doing more sort of spikes so it has a choppy look at the end they're less sort of curved lines they're more sort of harsh spiky edges and it gives it much more of a choppy look and an edgy sort of feel to it rather than it being so sort of fluid and curved so it's up to you what look you want to go for you can experiment with these sort of lines and this sort of style whether you want more fluid curved lines or you do want those sharp sort of spiky edgy choppy looks and again that can depend on the character you're drawing the hairstyle whether it's straight hair you might want to have it more of like a clean cut edge whereas with flowy curly hair you might want to have more of a flow and more sort of waves to it but again that's the really fun thing about doing this sort of style is that you can really be creative and experiment with lots of different things and you have more freedom than you do with like realism you can really sort of get creative and really experiment with this so that's really really fun Another thing that I really like to do once I kind of finish the colouring and in the highlights and the shadows is that I like to go back over it with that fine liner pencil to darken up some of the lines because once you add the highlights with that pastel some of it can go over the black and just kind of dull them down. So I just like to go back in with that ink pen, just refresh some of those lines and also add a bit of variety to the thickness of some of the lines as well. So there's a bit of variety going on. So moving on to the final hairstyle, this is just a nice plait going to the side of her kind of shoulder over her shoulder and this is like a fishtail plait it's just a simple one all the hair is incorporated into the plait but if you notice throughout these hairstyles every single one has got like little bits of flyaway hair going around the face or away from the face to break up the general hairstyle so it's not so uniformed and again it just looks more natural so even though you're not trying to do realistic hair it's still important to use the basic principles of realistic hair to help you make your hair look natural and really really pretty so I do recommend doing some sort of flyaway bits of hair whether they're going over the face and framing the face or just away from the hair just to make it look a bit more natural and it just makes it look a bit more interesting as well but of course you guys can do it however you want it's up to you you may want to do something completely different you might want it to look really uniformed it is completely up to you and I'd love to hear your tips on drawing hair how do you like to do it what's your process and 
And so I'm just finishing off the last hairstyle with the coloring. I used two different colors, mainly green, a nice pastel green, but also a little bit of blue as well, just to make it a bit different. I wanted two sort of colors going on. And then just adding those highlights again. I tend to do this towards the middle of each sort of section of hair. That's where the highlights tend to be. And the shadows tend to be like on either side of the lock of hair. So highlight in the middle, shadow at either end. And again, as you can see, just going over it with that ink pen just to darken up, crispen up and thicken up some of those lines as well, just to make them stand out a bit more and make the hairstyle really pop. But that's all five hairstyles. I hope you enjoyed them. Again, let me know which is your favourite. And also, if you guys want to learn how to draw hair and portraits realistically, then I've got so many real-time tutorials available on my Patreon for you guys. So there'll be a card at the end so you can check that out. Also, if you're new to my channel and you enjoyed this video, then why not hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos but that is it from me and I'll see you in the next one bye guys